what's up everybody this is a winter fishing video i didn't make an intro to this video because i'm tired of making intros and not catching fish so if you finally see an intro it means i did catch fish today and what can you expect uh, to see in this video whatever i can catch so here it comes Fish, 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 I got a fish, I got a fish, it's a little bass. Yep, a little largemouth. Last time I fished here, it's the same creek where I was catching a ton of bluegill, and the water was about four foot higher, so they, they keep it low during the winter, but after rains it comes up and then goes back down. So what I was fishing last time, I don't think your fish could even get up in there. But there's one little large mouth that was hanging out. Little bitty one there, that's okay. Every fish is welcome here. Let's see if we can get some more. Well, there might be a few bluegill up in here. It's really shallow. It's worth, it's worth making a few casts. Oh, 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 I got something. Hey, it's a little crappie. Well, that's interesting. It's a tiny one, but I've been looking for crappie a lot this fall, or like at least going to spots where I think there's crappie, and I get nothing. So he was kind of up in this upper part, stuck up here. So maybe there's some more up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh, not bad. That's a pretty good sized bluegill. Okay, that's a third catch today and a third species. <laughs> I don't think it's bigger than that copy was. All right, get back in there. John. Okay, don't get stuck. Yes. How in the world did I do that again perfectly? I just got through that limb. I think I'll get a bite. Somehow I threw it exactly where it barely went through that limb again. Oh, that was pretty nice. Oh, and now I'm stuck. <sighs> okay. Well, let's, there goes that. All right, I'm gonna retie this line. I'm not sure if my camera was on, I just blinked off, but I downsized a 132nd sound jig head and a little, um, the Bobby Garland slab hunter. And I just caught um, a couple of bluegill, just going down size, just let them get that in their mouth. And I think there's some bluegill, a little school of them right here. I saw several biting at it. Yeah, oh, yeah, there it is. There they are. They are there. Yeah, there we go. I've caught uh, three species today and then starting to get into a few bluegill here. Yeah, that felt like a little better bluegill. That was a good hit on that one. Oh yeah, nice. Man, 
Man, you kind of swallowed that one. Sometimes they'll nip it at it, and sometimes they are hungry hitting it. And with it being this cold, it's like 40 degrees. It's been pretty cold for a while. It's funny how these bluegill can be real hungry and just hammer them. Oh, got one. I got one here. Oh, little guy. I caught some bluegill and kept them the other day. I used it for catfish bait. Fished for catfish at a spot that's like a really good spot uh, for like three hours and didn't get a bite. <laughs> so I didn't make a video on it. So I don't know if you, if you saw me catch those bluegill and keep them the other day. I tried. Oh, yeah. And I didn't get anything. So it's been at least a week or so since I caught some bluegill over here. And I was like, let me go try again. And they are still in here. I watched a uh, Greg Blanchard video last night. And he had a whole video and didn't catch a single bass. <laughs> I like when people put out real fishing videos. And then if you've noticed... I keep up with a lot of fishing guys. There's not a lot of guys putting out very many catching videos. There's a lot of what to do in the winter, how to catch fish, how to catch fish in the spring, but not a lot of actually showing how it's done. And that's the just the real life. Some people live up north where that's frozen, and then some people live in the I guess like where I'm at in the middle, kind of where we get, we don't get ice or anything, but it gets cold and it really affects those, the fish, just especially if you're like a bass fisherman. Oh, here it is. But you can, you can go out and find some fish. I've gone out a lot of days and not caught fish, but if you just want to catch fish, you can find something a lot of times. You may have to downsize and hop from little hole to little hole like I've been doing today. And I'm going to go to a couple more probably. Let me try to catch one or two more. If it's just more bluegill, I'll probably move on. And you just never know what you're going to come across. At some point, there might be white bass. You might find crappie. You might even find, I mean, you still, oh, oh. I had a bunch of, I had some bites in there. I thought I saw something bigger hit. You can find, you can find stuff. Not every time, that's for sure. I've had a lot of days where I've gone out and not caught hardly anything. Maybe one fish or maybe no fish. It's fun to at least find some bluegill. And I don't like fishing ponds. I don't know if they're easier to catch in the wintertime or not. Just, I don't know. It doesn't seem fun. It's fun to me. And I'm not a big trout fishing guy. I could go for trout, but usually I only catch a few of them. And I'm just not really put a lot of effort into that. So this is what it comes to. Tomorrow I'm going to go kayak in a tournament. And I might catch some fish, but it's, it's, you, oh, wow, that was a good hit. I might catch some, but it's going to be freezing cold and I'll have to fish. You know, it's going to be eight hours and I might get four or five fish if I'm, if I do good. There's a bunch of bluegill down there. They're nipping at it. There's a bunch of bluegill in that little hole. So let me see. Let me get one more probably. And then I, I want to go to another a couple other holes. There's a, I got a bunch of little spots that these little creek channels or just a little spot that I go to that when the, when they, when they, when it gets right or when those fish move up in there, it can be on fire. But a lot of times I just go I'll go and fish it, and it'd be nothing, I go and fish it, be nothing, go and fish it. And then all of a sudden, boom, one day I'm like, there's fish everywhere. And I go back and there's nothing, and I go back. But uh, that's part of fishing. Just learning and trying and having those good days along with a bunch of bad days. Oh, what? Wasn't paying attention. Oh my. Okay, we'll leave with that one there. I looked over to make sure my rod was still laying where I left it, my other rod, because I broke off a crankbait earlier. 
and I caught this tiny little bluegill. I don't know how I got hooked. Look at that little guy. All right, let's, um, I might regret leaving the spot, but at least I've caught some bluegill, I'm happy. I wanna go try a couple other spots today. Spot number two is looking a little extra fishy today. The water is actually pretty, really clear. Sometimes it's muddy through here. I don't know if that's good or bad. The wind not blowing too bad. It was blowing some. I'll be let me throw this small light lure around. If it picks up, I'll probably have to get a little heavier. There ought to be something in here. Some kind of fish. Oh, I see one. <laughs> hey, first cast got a little pass. I'm, I was rolling, reeling it in, and it's so clear. I saw this little bass come up and follow it. Dude, look how fat that little guy is. It's in here eating. Oh, he's gonna be a giant. Look at his like his body proportions. <laughs> it looks so cool. Man. All right, keep on growing. Oh. We got another fish pulling in giants left and right. Another bass. These little guys get up in these creeks. I bet they grow really fast when they get up in here and then hit springtime. They probably shoot up really fast. Then they move on down to the river and stuff. Or go up the creek. I've caught some good ones up this creek. Oh, okay, no, I didn't know it was on there. My goodness, third little largemouth. There must be a bunch of them in here. And they are, they know it's time to feed up. They gotta get bigger so they don't get eat by the bigger bass. Another one. Oh my goodness. I should have brought my fish tank. Fourth little bass. I barely even, I'm not even feeling them bite. I'm just reeling it in and they're like on there. These are our large mouths. Yep. Little large mouth. Man, they're tiny. Oh, yes, we were upsizing. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, I'm just gonna st stay here and catch bass. We've moved up to an eight inch one. <laughs> they're fat there. I think I saw another one swimming with this one. They're like moving really slow and they're just coming in and biting it. throw a crankbait a little bit. Don't want to lose this one. I just lost one in the last spot. And yeah, hopefully don't lose it here. But if there's some bigger bass in there, they can definitely be ready to smash this. Okay. I think it's time to move to another hole. Man, it feels like it's getting colder out here. But I've spent about 30 minutes here, 20, 30 minutes here, about 30 minutes or so at the first area. And we'll go to another area. And I didn't catch any more fish. And I don't think I'm fishing anymore today. It is getting cold. The wind started blowing. Uh, it's not very comfortable. That's another thing about out in the winter, I guess I'm too uh, too much of a baby to stay out and fish real hardcore. But especially when that wind starts blowing, I don't want to be out here. Um, it's like 40 degrees and it's dropping. It's supposed to be even colder tomorrow, and I'm supposed to go fish a tournament. 
I don't know. I don't want to, but I don't want to, you know, look like a wimp when everybody else shows up. So I may have to go to the tournament. Thanks for watching. I'm glad to get out here and catch a few fish. And I, like I said, I, I was glad to catch anything. And um, that's a win for uh, for a day out when it's 40 degrees and um, wind's blowing really strong. So appreciate it.